Hey guys, I'm Normal Star here, and one thing, let me start by saying, if my voice goes in and out this entire video and I sound really weird, it's because I lost my voice at camp. Moving on. Um, I was at a church camp last week called Snowbird Wilderness Outfitters Camp, and it's a church camp, and it's really, really, really awesome. Yeah, but that's not really what I wanted to talk about today in this video. Um, I wanted to talk about the crazy thing that happened while I was there. I got to go to the ER for four hours, which, let me tell you, not fun. I, for one, am already terrified of hospitals and doctors and emergency rooms. So spending four hours in there basically gave me a, like, panic attack. I was sitting on, like, the entire time, like... <laughs> one thing, I should probably explain why I was in the ER. When I was at camp, I dropped some... The bathhouse is, like, a whole, like, mile away from our cabin. So I had to walk over there every single time I wanted to use the bathroom, every time I needed to shower, every time I just wanted to look to see if I looked not like a zombie walking. But um, I, on the way back from the bathhouse, I dropped something, seriously, right outside the cabin. And all of the pathways are lined with rocks, like like these rocks that are like this big, like about that size. And so I was like, okay, I'm just going to walk outside barefoot because I had taken my shoes off since I didn't think I was leaving the cabin again. And I take my shoes off and I'm like, oh, it'll take like two seconds. I walk out there, less than 30 seconds. I get a rock inside my foot and it comes out of my foot and leaves all these little pieces inside. I come back inside and there's blood like running down my heel and I'm like, oh. Oh, that's pleasant. That's nice. That's cool. You know, this is what I wanted to do with my, with my afternoon. The clinic people are like, oh, we'll try and clean it out. And then they're like, okay, well, no, we can't clean this out. This is too deep. You get to go to the ER now. I'm not happy. I'm immediately, as soon as I said that, I started bawling. I'm not afraid to say it. I started bawling more because, not because I, my foot hurt. Like, it did hurt. It hurt really bad. But I normally don't cry about cuts like that. I was more terrified of, terrified of the fact that I had to go to the flipping ER. Drove there, and on the way there, we stopped and they bought me. I had a leader and a counselor with me because the counselor had to drive and the leader had to be there with me because I'm underage. Yeah. But um, we stopped and we got me a big bottle of cheer wine and some sour gummy worms. And I was, I was pretty content then. I was like, okay, sweet, this won't be totally terrible. We get into the emergency room waiting room. And it was not fun because I was sitting there, I was just, you know, munching on my gummy worms. Side note, I am in love with most sour gummy candies. So like, gummy worms, Sour Patch Kids, things of that general vicinity. Yeah, category. Category, that's the right word. That should be a good word, I think. I don't even know. Um, those are like my favorite types of candies. I love them so much. Like I love soury sweet candies. They're perfect. Ah, yeah, that was totally off topic. Let's get back on track now. I'm sitting there just munching on them in the emergency room waiting room and I look up and there's all these little signs that I didn't notice until sitting there until I sat there for like 20 minutes that said, if you're going to see the doctor, do not eat or drink. Whoops. Put them like, I'm 30 minutes, so I was sitting there like for 45 minutes in that waiting room and then they pulled me in and they're like examining my foot, asking me all these weird questions. One question, like the normal questions they ask are like what they ask me, but then they asked me one that just kind of made me question humanity. When you walked outside, did you expect to get a rock in your foot? Yeah, I, I just, I walked outside to just to make sure I got a rock in my foot. I started stomping around in those rocks just to make sure I would hurt myself because that's what my goal was when I walked outside. I've given up hope in society. I really have. Um, what kind of, kind of question even is that? But, you know, whatever. I just kind of blew it off. But they were talking to me like I was stupid. And I was sitting there, I was like, I understand everything you're saying. Stop talking to me like I'm two. I'm not two. Just no. Just stop be acting. Stop treating me like I'm an idiot. I'm not an idiot. Uh, into this back room thing where I was sitting there on this cot like okay this shouldn't take too long they're just gonna come in they're gonna clean my foot out nope they come in and they're like okay after I sit there for 20 minutes someone comes in and they're like okay we're gonna look at your foot and they look at my foot and they're like okay we're gonna x-ray your foot 30 minutes later they come in with the x-ray so I'm sitting there and then they x-ray my foot the weird thing about when they x-rayed my foot well I thought it was weird I guess it's not that strange but it hurt really bad because, let, mind you, that this cut is in the bottom of my foot, like bottom of my heel, where I press down to walk. 
So they're like, okay, we're going to actually the side of each side of your foot so we can see if there's any, like, bigger pieces in your foot. I was like, okay, that makes sense. And then they're like, okay, and then you're going to need to press your foot down flat onto the thing and step down with all of your pressure that you can. No. No, that hurt. That hurt a lot. I mean, I was making faces. No. No, that hurt. That hurt a lot. I mean, I was making faces. <laughs> Yeah. They're asking me to put all my pressure down on a giant cut, really deep cut, on my foot. After that, they're like, okay, we're going to come back in and we're going to tell you the results. And I was like, okay, sweet. I'll be out of here soon. 45 minutes later, they come in and the doctor comes in. He's like, well, there's no massive chunks of rock going up into the like into your foot. So we're just going to clean it out. And I started making all those pretty faces again. <laughs> Yay. He's like, okay, I'm going to send someone to gauze your foot. An hour later, they came in and gauzed my foot. And seriously, by that point, I was sitting there thinking, I could gauze my own foot, and I could have been out of here, like, a whole hour ago. And then when I came back to camp, because it was like a, it was a good 20-minute drive to get back, and so we get back to camp, and I walk into my cabin, and everyone's sitting around on the floor, watching the door. Walk in and everyone starts clapping. I was terrified. They were treating me like I'd come back from war or something. I was embarrassed. Like, they're all like, Good job, Good job Emily. Emily. Did I win, like, a fight or something? Did, did you guys bet money on whether I was coming back or not? Like, what is this? What is this weirdness that's happening in my cabin? I hate everybody. Please click that awesome button up there that means you subscribed if you liked this video. It would mean a lot to me. And that's all this video has left to say. Have a good morning, afternoon, evening, night, or whatever time of the day it is where you are in the world. And I love you guys. Wah! I don't know what I'm doing with my life anymore. <laughs>